Hello everybody, welcome to game number two in this best of five 1v1 casuals championship between Jim Bob the Mighty and Terror Incognita. Jim Bob took game number one after Terror's with a surprising early concession. Uh, Morgan's with me today. What do you think about this, Matt Morgan? Mm, well, Aluminium is a very, very sticky. Nukes again. So... One player could definitely dominate aluminium somehow. Well, the um, only reason why aluminum is going to be hard to dominate is it is stretched across the map and there's two highs. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult has been founded. to work. Um, well, Terror is not going to make that aluminum mistake. Goes for the scientist once again. Jim Bob, very interesting robot found. Looks like he wanted to found right next to this aluminum and didn't get it in time. Hmm. Well, it seems so, doesn't it? He'll have to go for the further aluminum. But he's going to cut steel mills. Metal mine. Yeah, nice easy start. Yeah, that, that is a very interesting founding location for Jim. It's really right in the middle of nowhere. I think maybe he's got an eye on power later on. But... Perhaps. I don't know. The black market is online. Maybe a misclick. Who knows? Maybe he was trying to get his influence on the aluminium tile to save it for himself. Terror did get it first. And uh, or let's... was he one, two, three? Well, four tiles. So a scientific HQ well, has been slow upgraded. him down to HQ two. So Jim does have that going for him. Terror moves immediately into a third steel mill. And let's see what else he's going to put up. Jim decides to claim that high water next to him by two lows. I would have been really tempted to put this high right in the middle of this huge patch here. Pick up slant drilling a lot harder to move that business. out versus this water pump. That's very susceptible to underground nukes. Yeah, if you, like you say, go in the other water patch, you got options later on. Um, Terra... Electrolysis reactor. Is it going to be a pump or a reactor? So steady start from him. Yeah, the power is going to be the key here. I think Jim Bob. Maybe if he picked up, well, he doesn't need it. He's picked up some carbon, so wind turbines, I can imagine, are going to be coming out very I shortly. He's three. Yeah, he, d he did go yeah. for this far metal mine, which is going to be costing him 94, 95 a second in the shipping in power debt 31 from this elemental quarry so both players are use are running a large power deficit 1.6 for terror 1.9 for jim bob we do have the first windmill wind turbine going down for jim terror does have plenty of money no goons have been purchased i wouldn't be surprised if we see a mutiny or something from Terror. He does pick up the mutiny. And we're just yep. waiting for him to use it, I suspect. On it but Jim picked up a goon to put on a turbine. Oh, yeah, Terror's missed his opportunity. New land is yeah. available for option. We could still mutiny. Uh, his iron away. That would cause a real problem for Jim Bob. It would, especially with iron at $40 and steel at 54 That would be a really nice consolation mutiny. Oh, Terra wants this geothermal tile. No, with it's power at 250 and rising, I don't blame him. Terra is already in B levels of debt. Is going to hit that upgrade before building the geotherm. Yeah, I think he had to take the upgrades. He needs to get a bit of cash in, get this geotherm up as soon as possible, because he's racking up the debts for every second that this geotherm's not up. Mm -hmm. Jim a little slow to HQ3, but as soon as he comes along, I expect we'll see some more wind turbines out of him. Yes. Yeah, power is rapidly rising. There's uh, not a lot of demand from the colony, the so this is just both play power starting high and both a players HQ has been upgraded. moving into power a little bit. Well, I guess it's fast. It is only it is still Soul 2, but um, 
And it's finally yeah, on its think... way down. A natural power surplus. Terra is not going to like this because just as his geotherm will come online, that power is going to be slowly creeping down, but it didn't go down very far. So it's going right back up. Yeah, Terra missed a big trick by not mutinying away Jim Bob's iron. He'd have caused the real problem. That would have slowed him down from HQ3, slowed to get the rest of the power up. Doing that still would be a really good idea because iron is at 41 and steel's only at 15. These steel mills are losing Jim Bob $33 a second. Okay, he's finally deciding better, but moving out. That opportunity has passed, so I'm really not sure what Terror is doing. I was planning on doing with that mutiny. Right now, it's just a defensive mutiny. Yeah, he's kind of just got it there doing nothing, which is a bit of a waste of cash, really. But I yeah, managed to get myself out of the deep debts. He's still deep, 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 deep down, but he's paid off a little bit if he could keep these solar panels up. And he won't. There's an EMP from Jim Bob. Not unexpected at all. Terror still has one more claim to use. I'll be interested to see what he's going to do with that. And a dust storm. Terror's <coughs> got to be quite unhappy about that. Yeah, that was pretty much the last thing he wanted to see. I mean, those solar panels could be useless now. But I suppose his geotherm's ticking along. You shouldn't buy this and use it on an but enemy. That he needs to be paying me. that debt off. Especially with Winston coming up. I mean, Jimbo could possibly make money on power. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the windstorm coming up, Jim should be able to pay through most of his power debt. Maybe not all of it. It's it'll depend on the price. Congratulations. Um, Terror's still hanging on to that mutiny. He knows that Jim only has one goon squad. So I'd like to see a mutiny be at least this very strong single wind turbine that's next to this empty tile that Jim hasn't put anything down yet. Terror mm. should know that that's empty. I'm also waiting for Jim to put something there. Instead, he decides to freeze it. That works too. And hopefully mutiny the, the other one. market is open mm -hmm. for business. Would like to see T Jim put down... Let's see, what is this? Uh, it's a weak wind. Well, power's kind of going down already, so that's not really going to matter. There's the mutiny from Terra, right as the wind's going. Dust storm comes in. Jim's going to meet me right back. Yeah, it's making good money there. Hundred and ten dollars. Uh, yeah, not much else he could do really, but meet me away. That's going to hurt Jim Bob. But Terra's still hanging around in sea debt, which could be a problem for him going forward. Yeah, this this will definitely could be a problem. It is sea debt, but it. Well, I was going to say it was only ninety five thousand dollars, but after this twenty percent interest tick, nineteen thousand more debt added on to what Terra owns. That is uh. A painful amount to have this early at Soul 4 in the game. Now the good thing is if Terra can get up to HQ 4, food is still expensive. He could go, he's a little bit limited by his Pirates. final location, but he can make some decent this, money off of food. Yeah, he's a bit hang hangstrung without a slant drilling. He could do that, he could definitely do with that sooner rather than later. But um, I suppose two farms, maybe replace the electrolysis reactors with some farms as well, <coughs> which he's starting to do. Mm -hmm. Especially now that this dust storm will end, those farms should be making him decent money. Jim does have a just a 13k, well now a little bit higher, 15k lead in the cash on hand. Jim needs another. Is available for auction. Needs about 14k to upgrade. Additional. He has 4,000 in the bank. Versus Terror needs 13k to upgrade. All that in glass, and he has 1,300 in the bank. So both our players struggling a little bit to get to HQ4 due to these high tertiary upgrade resource prices. 
Yeah, Jim Bob being forced to build an electronics factory just to help him get over the hump. Steel still pretty much depressed in price. Yeah, steel's pretty much depressed in price, but that's surprisingly where most of Jim's costs come from. The fourteen thousand dollars in steel. So he does have a Jim does have a lot of water, so he could crash the price of water to get this upgrade if he wanted to. Yeah, he's got a claim there. It's going to farm, so that'll help a little bit. He should be okay to get to his level four upgrade in reasonable amount of time. Terra's going to be making a lot of money with his nice little farms there. Yeah, 161 a second on those farms. Not yeah. auto selling it, but a little well, bit. He could if he wants it. There's no demand for food from Jim Bob. Yeah, well, no Terra has got his upgrade if he wants it. So he could quite easily. His first there he goes. HQ4, which is a bit surprising. I'm not sure that. Jim had realized how much resources he had on hand. There's the upgrade from Jim. Jim is buying a lot into carbon. Yeah, he's trying to make those uh, electronics factories that Terra's got running a little bit more expensive, a little bit more unprofitable. Well, it's doing a little bit, but not too much before Terra got out of them. Those electronics factories were making 95 each. Terra responds to the high carbon price by nuking Jim's carbon as elemental quarry to the south. Jim has plenty of carbon on hand, so that won't hurt him any time in the near future, but could be a little bit of annoyance as this game goes on. Terra, with that upgrade, has started to pull in cash a little bit faster than Jim Bob. Yeah, Jim Bob's quite well set up, though. He's got some farms that you pretty profitable. A couple of electronics which are very very profitable. If he can just get a get his steel up and running again, although he is going to be running an iron deficit building yeah. this the steel mill, so potentially there's a little weakness for Terra to exploit if he's able. Yeah, there's some weakness, underground nuke, or maybe just buy into that steel. Just make it a little bit more difficult for Jim Bob as it is. Terra is moving into a bunch of glass kilns, which are making. Okay, well, once they're online, they'll make. Let the somebody. bidding begin! Only 22 each. Yeah, I'm quite surprised Terra has allowed his solar panels to be running for so long when power's been a dollar. Okay, this is a, sort of an artificial price. Terra. Both players, both players have significant stockpiles of silicon on hand. Jim's because he has not been selling his silicon. Terror because he bought into silicon to move into these glass kilns. Yeah. Financial instruments. Very... Interesting patent. How high do you bump this up if you're Jim Bob? Well, he decides 18k is not enough. Mm, 16k is a bit of an overpayment, I suppose, but Terror probably wants to keep it. Stop Jim Bob. Profiting from Terra's debt, but he's just added 16k to his debt back into a D bond rating. That's pretty much Terra's problem at the moment is debt. Everything else is running quite nicely. Yeah, debt and a slight. We're well, slightly behind in cash on hand. The although, patent lab is constructed. Yeah. Let's get our science on. A lot of that is tied up into these patents, carbon scrubbing going for terror next which will allow him to get into these otherwise very profitable HQ has been electronics upgraded. factories. Demand from the colony for electronics is still very high consuming 1.6 electronics online. a second and Jim is only producing 0.75 electronics so there's still plenty of demand for those electronics plenty of profits to be made for both players. Yeah. You see Terra moving into carbon scrubbing, and carbon's prices was made steady, but Jim's been forced to go into a second carbon claim, which, when you're limited in the number of claims you have, the robots, it's never a great idea to have to put a second tile over the carbon, no. especially with nukes around. 
Yeah, now that Terror has carbon scrubbing, he doesn't really care about the electronics price, the carbon price for his electronics. They are going to make him a nice 163 a second. Jim's water claims finally run out his electrolysis reactors are turned on but are losing him a hundred and ten dollars I'm sorry what ten dollars a second he's gonna run out of his water supply anytime now yeah it's only the O2 price I think that's the black market is open for business well he's buying all... into oxygen yeah somebody's gonna get a hacker rate down aren't they and start spiking O2 Jim Bob does have two advantages over Terra right now. First, he is at HQ5, so three advantages. HQ5, more cash on hand, ready to lend its aid Terra does, to the a bunch of Terra's better. cash is tied up in his stock, and a significantly less amount of debt. Yeah, I'm not sure if Jim Bob should start investing in Terra or not. He's got a lot of money. So he can't, he's not really in position to finish anything soon. No, we haven't looked at off-worlds yet. Off-world prices actually are pretty decent despite the high-ish on-world prices. Even though food's 116, launching at 31k profit a launch. We have 30k profit for fuel, although that's going to disappear if those off-worlds are on. Terror moving into teleportation. Yep, I'm not... Ex well, I suppose that's for... Has been upgraded. There's one oh, metal mine? Know. Possibly. Is it, what is he moving into with these? He is going to go for the silicon. So, planning ahead. That patent did cost him a pretty penny, though. Teleportation, 10k. Well, not as bad as first thought because I forgot about 1v1 half priced patents. The black market is online. Mm, definitely worth picking up then. But, powers. Spiking again. So both of you go. I mean, Terra's swell. Dust storm coming, which isn't really going to help Terra, but there's some money to be made there for Jim Bob, who's uh, making money hand over fist at the moment. He is 242k on hand. A lot of this is tied up in that silicon, which he just sold all the way down to $21. Yeah. Also, a lot of money tied up in this water from yeah. Jim Bob. He's 75% of the way there, though. I think he's definitely in a position where he could be threatening Terra, maybe buying some stock up. I mean, like you were saying, Terra's not really that liquid at the moment, is he? No, Terra he's doesn't have a lot of assets in terms of cash on hand. He still has three claims that he needs to put down. Uh, life support is still pretty high. There's a lot of water. He has teleportation. I might think about doing that. He also he can needs go to, into yeah. some more electronics or some chems. Those are all high. Plenty of money he made on world, to. but he's not moving into anything and probably going to lose the well, game right here. Yeah, he needs needed to use those claims a lot sooner than he did. Uh, his sort of his silicon. <laughs> yeah, because uh, as soon as his silicon quarries came online, Jim Bob sold all his silicon, crashing the price. So now he's gone into some glass. But Jim Bob's got 100% on him. Um, I think he could probably even shift by him if he wanted to. Yeah, if Jim Bob's paying attention, that shift by should be there. So we should have Jim coming up with a 2 0 lead over Terror any time right now. You uh, must know, there it is. Jim takes game number two. A little bit longer than the first game. And, um, yes. Yaren did, did call it earlier, saying that Terror either dies to debt or 1v1. Well, Terror did sort of die to debt. Debt was definitely a problem, and then just not able to make enough money. Yeah, I'm. Um... I'm a bit disappointed that there weren't more nukes thrown around. I mean, you could have really caused a problem for Jim Bob. Yeah, more nukes Jim Bob. thrown around. There's this metal mine long distance that's just sitting here begging for something to be done with it, make that 
upgrade from H2Q to H2Q3 for Jim extremely painful. Definitely ways that Terra could have potentially given himself some more leeway to pay off his debt or at least keep it in check and get into that long game where as a scientist he should have had an advantage. Oh, absolutely. If you can keep the robot down and make it difficult for him to upgrade and like use the nukes to make him spend and waste his claims on taking basic resources that he could have got away with with maybe one or two claims before really hassle him um yeah it doesn't really matter if a nuke comes back onto a scientist no but, but... story of the there we go terror had his opportunities i think and he probably should have taken them yeah, there definitely definitely were some opportunities there. Um, definitely some things that Terra could clean up in game number three if he wants to extend this series and make it a long one. Um, but Jim, Jim just played a, despite my initial qualms about his founding location, Jim just played a pretty solid game all around. Yeah, he was slow and steady. But, uh, he steady. was Moved left in. alone to do. Yeah, he was left alone to make his transitions and try and make the profit where he could. Um, it would have been nicer to see the scientists hassle him yeah, let's a lot more with the black, black market. market. So both players did purchase a decent number of black market items. Jim Bob with the four EMPs, one dynamite, terror. Pirates, a spy, an underground nuke, and a mutiny. Roughly the same amount of black market for each player, but Jim Bob's just felt a little bit more effective. Yeah, yes, I think it did. Even, even though he was playing against the scientist, he made good use of them. 